in this video, I'll show you how to reset, how to do a factory reset of your HP Smart Tank 5101. What I'll show you next also works with many other HP Smart Tank printers that are looking like this one. I know there's many of them. So let's get started right away. We need to go over here on the control panel. So first step is to actually turn off your printer. Press once on the power button. Wait a few seconds until it does not make any sound and the screen is turned off. So what we need to do now is to press this top right corner button over here, the black copy button, at the same time has this button over here on the lower left side that has an arrow. We need to keep both press and then with your thumb you're going to press the power button wants to power on the printer without releasing these buttons for five seconds. After five seconds, release them. So let me demonstrate so it makes more sense for you. So uh, right now the printer is turned off. I'm keeping both of these pressed and with my thumb I'll press once the power button and keep these press during five seconds. Okay? Okay, four seconds, five seconds and then I can release them. It does not have to be exactly five seconds, it's okay if it's six, seven. Now you just have to wait. After a while, there's something that will get printed. So just make sure you had some paper and extend this small flap, okay? So this is an al alignment page because now what we need to do is to open the scan lid put this paper that got printed facing down with the top part over here on the left side, bring the corner of the paper to the corner of the scanner with a white arrow here, like that, close the lid, then you're gonna have this button flashing, press on it once, and now it will align the print heads. You just have to wait. Great. And by the way, now you have the blue button over here, the blue Wi-Fi button flashing. It simply means that the printer is in pairing mode. So go ahead, take your phone or your computer and connect this printer to the HP Smart App. Let me show you how to do it on your smartphone. You need to download the HP Smart App that is on Google Play Store or App Store. Once you download the HP Smart App, go ahead and launch it. On the main screen of the app, once you open the app, you may have to click a few screens where you accept stuff. I already did it. And this is the main screen of the app. We need to add the printer. Over here, I have other HP printers. It's not this one. You need to press on the top right corner this symbol, a printer with a plus sign. Then we need to press on new printer, this top option, and select the printer that will appear on this list. We now have to enter the Wi-Fi password of your home network or your office network. They ask us to press the I button on the printer. The I button is the I over here that is flashing. Press on it once so the setup continues on the screen. Now this HP Smart App is very buggy, I need to warn you. And sometimes you may be stuck in certain options while the screen is loading, like over here. Uh, I waited more than two minutes and nothing is happening. I still suggest you wait two minutes, three minutes, until giving up. Uh, unfortunately, this is HP, their software, sometimes it's pretty trash. So after doing this, you see nothing is happening. Go ahead, quit the app and go back into it. And as we see here, the HP printer has been added over here and we have finished setup. You can click finish setup if we quit the app while it wasn't um, finished doing its thing. Go down, select accept all. You may have a screen asking you to create an HP account or to log in into your existing one. In my case, I'm already logged in. This is why you don't see that screen. But you need absolutely to have an HP account, which is free by the way to do it, to have access to many features of this app, like scanning using the Wi-Fi. Again, it's a bit sad that HP is asking you, obligating you to do this. 
So once you have set up, uh, once you have signed in into your HP account, you're going to get this screen. Select auto update. This way, every new update will be installed on your printer automatically. Then press skip printing page, skip sending link. Yes. Press all done. And we are back on the main menu screen of the app. Now let me show you how to print and also how to use the scanner. So to use your phone to print a document or a picture, it's very easy. On the main screen, go down and you're going to see print photo and print documents. I want to print a simple text document. Therefore, I'll click on print documents. From here, you're going to have to select the file that is located on your phone or one of these cloud services. Go ahead and find the file you want to print. I want to print this text file. So once you have clicked on the file, you're going to get this preview page. From here, you're going to click on print preview. Then once you're on this page, all you have to do is to click on this small arrow once to have more options. OK, so over here we have make sure you have your printer selected. The paper size is the right one. The number of copies. And over here we have print quality. Tap on print quality and you'll have three different choices. Best is obviously the best one. And for simple text like the one I will print next, I don't think you're obligated to choose it. Normal does a pretty good job. Draft, I highly suggest you never choose it since the colors won't be accurate and the resolution will be pretty much trash. So I'll keep it to normal. But if you're printing pictures of or text documents that has some graphics and some images, select best. And then simply press the print button once. Do not exit this app while the file is printing. So I'll just wait. If you choose the higher quality of printing, it may take more time as well. So this is something to consider. Consider if you're trying to print, let's say, 100 pages, uh, maybe choose normal since uh, the highest quality will take you at least many minutes more. OK, great. So we have our print over here. It looks great. And now and now you can res uh, reprint if you want another copy or press done and go back on the main menu screen. Now let me show you how to use the scanner of this printer and scan directly on your phone. First of all, we're going to take the document we want to scan. Let's say it's this one. Put it facing down with the top part on the left side. And you need to align the corner of the paper with this corner that has some white over here. Simply glide it like this. And then close the scan lid on the app itself. On the main menu, you're going to go down and select over here printer scan. Up here, you have entire scan. You can click on this and here we can change a few settings. So over here, page size, you can leave it to entire scan area because this scanner is able to scan up to a four size paper. But in our case, this is letter size and I bet yours is letter size as well. So you can select letter. Go back. Quality. We have a few options here. If you're going to scan some text, I suggest you keep it to 200. If you're going to scan some pictures, artwork or anything that has many details, select best instead. I don't suggest you scan using draft. It does not have many details when you choose that option. And finally, uh, choose over here if you want to scan in color or black and white. I'll keep it to color. Press done. And then press the scan button down below. It will take a few seconds at 200 dpi. If you select 300 dpi, it will take obviously more time since it has more details to scan. And over here we have the finish scan. We can adjust the edges of this paper if it's not what you prefer. And from here, if you're scanning a document of multiple pages and you want to combine it in one single PDF, go ahead and place the next page on the scanner 
and then press the add button on top here to add a second page to this document. If you are done, it's very easy. You can have over here a print button if you want to print what you just can, or you can press this share and save button where you will be able to share it on social media, email, or simply save it on your phone memory. You have also a few more options here. I won't go through them really, but you can rotate the document. You can extract some text from it and do other stuff. You can also click on these three little dots here and press edit if you want to edit whatever you scan there. Once you're done, press the back button and press yes, go home and you're done. We're back on the home page. If you want to get this printer or some ink for it, or maybe some paper or print heads from Amazon, I have put some links in the description down below. So this is it. This is how you set up your HP Smart Tank 5101. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.